Morphin and uh, Baking of Animation. So you can see here, this is that uh, trash can animation playing inside the uh, sandbox uh, player from Babylon. Um, and you may notice that if you look at some of the um, outputs from Morphin and the inputs, it's all built around uh, GLB. So you would assume that if you were to take uh, one of your animations from Morphin and uh, play it in a GLB player, it would play. But oftentimes you'll get this where the model comes in, but there's no animation. Uh, that's because the way Morphin works, if I jump over to Morphin, or the, the way that I'm using Morphin, is um, I'm using lots of uh, layers, and uh, most GLB systems don't know that they should automatically play all these layers all at once. So what you need to do is you need to bake all these down into a single animation clip. Um, turns out the ability to do that has been there uh, for a while. I just didn't know. So uh, the way that works is we're going to select all the bones. We're going to make a new a new action, and then we're going to record, which will then bake in those keyframes, and then we can export that clip. So let's do that. So I'm going to use the um, marquee tool. I'm going to choose all the bones. I'm going to go new action, and I'll call this one bake. And then I'm going to just tap record down here at the bottom, uh, this icon down here. So I'm going to record. So if you've used um, Ableton, uh, this feels very similar to the way that you can um, re-record internally. So you take one audio layer and you then bake and re-record into a new layer. So that's what we've done here. So now I can turn off all the other layers and play back. And you can see there's our animation. So in fact, what we're going to do, I'm going to now delete all those other layers. And if I go up to the file and the export tool, I can export that. And then when I go back over to my desktop machine and I pull it in, uh, this is the result. So really, really handy.